So those were just a sprinkling of um, people's definition of clouds. So but general consistency, I think you see the model. You have a sea of computers. You use virtualization to, to implement them. You access it through the internet. You pay for use, and uh, those are the and you implement everything as services. Now let's come to something we've already discussed and briefly, the, Gart the Gartner technology landscape. And we'll go through this in a bit more detail now. And uh, here is um, actually the beginning of cloud computing. Um, and um, you can actually, uh, we mentioned Grid before, they actually lasted to 2005 when they attended, and it gradually disappeared. Uh, it was number four in 2006, and then I think it's disappeared. Uh, we see cloud computing is coming at number two in uh, 2009. I think it actually uh, probably entered in 2008, I'm not certain. And um, that, of course, builds on virtualization. Here we have virtualization in these previous um, years, but people came to use virtualization for so called consolidation. Using hypervisors to put uh, lots of app, lots of virtual machines on the same node, it would took Amazon's innovation to define the concept of a public cloud. Um, so that's why I'm saying a little. So if you look at this uh, different presentation, it actually brings cloud computing into 2008, and it points out that if you look at the so-called priority matrix, which Gartner produces, which has Three benefit areas, transformational, high, and moderate. It has multiple time scales with two to five years being obviously very important. That's the near to moderate time scale. Cloud computing exists at this level in um, all five years. It's at the transformational two to five year framework. Big data is actually coming in here at the uh, Transformational high, transformational two to five year framework in the last two years, 2012, 2011. It'd be interesting to see what happens in the 2013 um, priority matrix, which should be out in the next few weeks. Anyway, it's clear big data and cloud computing are very important. Even here, in in memory database management systems. In the transformational two to five year framework, that's just a particular cloud computing technology. If we Gartner produces an emerging technology, uh, um, so called hype cycle, which have, they all have the same shape. They have this peak here, which is the peak of inflated in expectations. Technology trigger means that these technologies come up better. Um, pulled up by technology reasons, then they, as so we then fall down into the trough of disillusionment, and uh, then they come through the slope of enlightenment as they grow, as they can move into production, and then finally they're in a sort of smooth fashion, the plateau of productivity. And here we have grid computing in 2002, web services. Uh, I would say grid computing did not make it through the trap. Web services sort of made it. They became services, not particularly web services. I don't think today one considers web services as that that critical. Um, they're just one way of building a service with particular standards, which are helpful from uh, in some areas, especially security. Um, and so here's a sort of general description of uh, what the hype cycle is. Remember, here we have our, here we have the technology trigger, the peak of inflated uh, expectations, the trough of disillusionment, the uh, slope of enlightenment, and the um, plateau of productivity. And uh, this tells you what happens. Negative press begins here. Then recently, big data hit this peak just recently, and the negative press started. As people decided that we got too hyped, and people weren't able to do what everything that they said you to do. So it's heading down here. Uh, I'm certain big data will make it through the trough. It may change its name, but um, and of course this hype cycle doesn't just describe um, technologies; it describes stock prices or uh, popularity of, of of 
artists and things like that. And you can see here the plateau of productivity. It says 30% of the audience has adopted or is adopting the technology. And right down here, after we've gone through the trough, it's 5% adoption or less. Well, here we have the 2009 hype curve, which I did 2002, the previous slide. And uh, <clears throat> here's 2009. And uh, what do we have here? We have green IT, which is sort of relevant, because cloud computing tends to be green. We have cloud computing here reaching the top. Um, Service-oriented architectures, Web 2.0 are important. Technologies in the cloud area, so we can see where we are. Um, not a huge number of entries here. Um, and um, But key technologies are where you'd expect them to be. Here we have actually in 2010, we have cloud and cloud web platforms essentially in the same place, not move very much. And um, <clears throat> here we have in a little more detail this uh, priority matrix and uh, cloud computing, cloud web. This is the 2010 priority matrix. And of course, media tablets are the. Uh, device which is the thin client, which is enabled by cloud computing, because you can have thinner clients, you have a lot of computing back end on the, on the cloud. So all of these three here, cloud computing, web platforms, and media tablets are closely related in the big data ecosystem. Here we have 2011, and we have cloud computing up here. Now we've been joined by private cloud computing. That's the use of clouds uh, by focused on particular businesses. Cloud web platforms are now down here. And so we have lots of activity in the cloud area. Now we finally get to 2012, which is the last one I have. And uh, we have analytics now here, predictive analytics. Uh, hopefully we have cloud computing still in here. And um, hybrid cloud computing up here. Big data still charging up here. Say it was only recently reached the top. And uh, private cloud. So we have everything is hitting here. And this was a year when there was a lot of entries on the emerging technology area. And here we set, <coughs> we take this from uh, this website here. And they it said it's the most crowded hype cycle in the last 10 years. 48 technologies, two, 42 in 2011. 2008 was the lowest, 27. And uh, there were actually 44 in 2005. And this points out that we're actually at a very exciting stage where we're realizing a lot of promise, which was, uh, which was set up in the past and now is coming to reality as people are making things work. In fact, clouds are very important for many technologies, because clouds enable an awful lot of things to happen, because they enable X informatics, and almost everything is basically enabled and comes from X informatics.